There was a suitably dramatic finish to the history-making International Series England, the Asian Tour's first visit to the UK. Former US Open champion Graham McDowell was very much in contention after this birdie at the 10th, but dropped a few shots in the way in in the end had to settle for 15. C1 Kim, though, remains top of the Asian Tour order of merit. This is second into the 10th to set up a birdie. A 67 today for five under par for C1 Kim. Chu Yong Kim's chances ended, though, at the par 3 6, a triple bogey. A 72 for six under. Still a high finish, but no victory this time round for the 19 year old. Justin Harding looked very much like the man to beat after this birdie at the 10th, but then a bogey and a double bogey late in the back nine led him to settle for a 69 and 8 under par. The impressive Sadom Kalkwanjana was right up there again. Didn't drop a shot today, didn't drop a shot in the last 36 holes. This is third into the 11th. 69 today for 9 under par, only 3 behind. It came down to a battle between two men, Scott Vincent of Zimbabwe, who won last week on the Japan Tour. This is tee shot at the 14th to end a run of three birdies in four holes. But Travis Smythe of Australia, still looking for his first Asian Tour win, stuck with him all the way. This is tee shot at the difficult par 3, 17th. Yeah. Smythe would hold birdie putts at 16 and 17 to leave the two players tied for the lead going up the last. Smythe, though, missed the green, took a little bit too much sand with his escape, had to settle for a bogey. And that left Scott Vincent with this putt to win the International Series England. Not an easy putt, but beautifully hold. Two wins in two weeks for Scott Vincent who receives the inaugural International Series England trophy. Well done, Zimbabwe.